So you've got the rider coming in, uh, uh, the rider uh, bringing in news. And this is going to give you uh, ideas on how to sort out some problems that you've been dealing with. So this is this might be good news. Or this might not be things that you want to hear because you've got the clouds above it. So something that is not so pleasant that uh, is coming your way, uh, but it's going to give you an answer, a key uh, to sorting out problems. So even though it's, uh, it might be a bit distressing, the news that comes in, but it is going to be something that offers you solutions to sort out problems that you've been dealing with. Now, in the past, you've been dealing with somebody that was very cunning and very deceptive. So you've been dealing with that kind of a person. And, um, you know, uh, you've been doing um, a lot of research as well, uh, trying to find out answers to solutions. So with the journal, it's either documenting things or uh, doing research, doing, you know, um, going through a lot of literature to try and find out solutions. So you might have been doing some searches on the internet or, you know, some kind of search that you've been doing, some kind of um, looking into information. Uh, this also could be that you may have been studying recently uh, and, um, you know, that's where your focus is being, spending a lot of time by yourself, but really, you know, uh, looking into a lot of information. You could be even writing at the moment, so you could be writing a book at the moment, and that's where your focus has been. But you have been dealing with somebody that has been very deceptive uh, and had or had a hidden agenda as well. So that's the person <coughs> that you've been dealing with. Now, going into the future, there's something to do with your family life, uh, maybe uh, older people, older women that you're dealing with. Maybe you're dealing with some problems. Maybe news is coming in from that person. Uh, and it might not be very, very pleasant news that you're going to be hearing from an older person. And, you you know, it pre presents itself as a problem, as an obstacle that you have to face or a challenge that you have to sort through. But you are going to have the solution to that particular problem. So although it's a, there's a mountain of a problem, it seems like a really big problem, you will get the answer. Uh, to sort out whatever difficulties that you're having in. And you will get it, uh, you know, through this news that you're receiving. So some kind of news coming in to sort out, sort out problems that you're having maybe with family relationships uh, that you're dealing with. So whatever problems there is that's going on within your family life, you will be able to come to a solution to that particular problem. Okay, so this is the Jane Austen uh, tarot. So I'm just going to leave that because that was the extra card that fell. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the two of teacups over here. So there, it looks like there's a new relationship coming in for you, a uh, very uh, connected relationship, um, almost like a soulmate connection relationship coming in for you. Uh, you see um, this person is somebody that you um, have, you know, you're on the same page. Uh, you get along very well with this person and you, you know, you'll understand each other. So it's a very connected relationship and that seems to be um, coming in for you quite soon or if it's not already here, uh, then it will be coming in pretty soon. And, and um, since that card has come in as the Two of Cups, then you've got the Four of Cups and you've got the Ten of Cups. So there looks like there's a marriage going on over here. So you could be starting a relationship that could end up with a marriage. The Four of Cups, uh, Four of Candlesticks is generally a marriage card, um, but it also talks about stability and uh, a new home. But you've got it uh, crossed by the Ten of Cups, and this is definitely about happiness and marriage and family. So it looks like, you know, a new relationship coming in that could end up in marriage um, and, you know, a long-term committed relationship. You've been very lonely recently. You've got this uh, lady of teacups uh, at the bottom of the deck, but it looks like this new relationship is coming in, and this could well end up being something that ends up as marriage or something very committed, and it brings in a lot of happiness as well. So in the past, you've got the Lady of Candlesticks, so you might have been dealing with a, a fire sign person, and you might have received letters or correspondence from them. So this is a, uh, a Leo... Um, Aries or a Sagittarius person that you've been dealing with and you've had some kind of correspondence with that particular person. And, uh, you know, maybe they've caused some kind of difficulties because they seem to have caused some kind of problems because, you've, you've, uh, you know, you've ended up 
walking away from it or turning your back to whatever they've got to say. So maybe they sent you a letter and you've completely turned your back on whatever they had to say in that letter and you're walking away from it. It might be, have been a very uh, you know, nasty letter or some kind of news that came in from them that was very difficult or very um, you know, obnoxious and you've turned your back on it and you're moving forward. So you are moving away from any kind of difficulties that you have been facing recently and moving on to the future. And this could also be that you know, you're moving away from difficulties and you might travel. You might be traveling as well. So on your mind, you're focusing a lot in your work. Uh, that is where all your energies are going to. You are, you know, you're ignoring anything else or anybody else. You see this woman is just focused on her work. And even though this person is making uh, some kind of offer to her, them, her, she's not really even seeing it. She's just focused on this work. So it seems like on your mind, that's all you seem to be focused on is on work. So going into the future, you've got the magician card over here. So you are trying to manifest things. On the other hand, you might have met somebody who is, or you're going to be meeting somebody who is very dynamic. Um, this could be an air, air sign person. This could be a Gemini person uh, because the magician card is ruled by Gemini. So somebody is coming into your arena that is very smooth talking. Uh, and, you know, they are, um, appear larger than life. It's almost as though they are like by magic that they come in or they they seem to uh, present things to you in a very fascinating uh, way um, that's got you very, very enthralled. So this looks like the magician coming in for you rather than you being the magician. And, you know, they've got a lot of things to say and, you know, they're very, very well read because this is a card ruled by Mercury. So they're very intelligent as well. So this is the person that is coming into your arena and it seems like, you know, uh, you're very impressed with this person that comes in. So what's going on for you? You've got the Maiden of Coins, and they're, again, focusing a lot on your work. You're very, very much into your books, into studying, into research. Maybe you're managing your money as well. So you're very focused on money, work, a career, uh, and you're spending a lot of time by yourself as well. So you've got uh, the Two of Coins over here. So it looks like this person that you're going to meet comes in on the work front. So this magician person comes in on the work front, and, uh, you know, that's how you meet this person um, through work. Uh, so while you're focusing a lot on the work, this person comes in and they're very much, they're trying to impress you a lot as well. So they are quite uh, thrilled by you. But, you know, um, you have got your head down and focused on your work and you don't maybe you don't even see it. But this person has now presented themselves and this is how they come in. And maybe they're very good at what they do. And this is why you admire them so much. Now, you are focused on achieving things, and that's how people see you as very much driven, and uh, this is a card of achievement. So wherever you're going, whatever you're doing as far as your career goes is going to be very successful. This could also be a home move, so you could be buying a new home or moving home as well. Now, you want an offer to come in with a knight of teacups. Uh, so you are looking for somebody to come in and give you, you know, that knight in shining armor. That is what you're looking for, that kind of offer. Uh, and it looks like it is coming in, but you're so busy with your work, you may not even see it because, you know, you've got your head down and you're doing your work. You may not even see this relationship coming. It might just hit you off, you know, uh, out of the blue because it was there all along and you really didn't see it. So you've got the nine of candlesticks, uh, the four of teacups, and you've got the um, Hierophant card of you. So the nine of, tea, of candlesticks, it's like, you know, be aware. You might be dealing with somebody who is a fire sign person that is doing a lot of things behind your back that you're not really aware that they're doing. So they're doing something underhanded. Um, so somebody's doing something that is not very honest and uh, just be aware that something's going on in the background there that uh, you know you need to uh, keep an eye out for. So somebody's doing something that is not in your best interest. They're sneaking around, um, you know, doing things. This woman's walking around with a candle. So doing things, um, you know, hidden things. So there's somebody that's not working in your favor and they are doing things behind your back. Uh, really, um, you know, uh, not for your best interest. It could well be this person, the lady of candlesticks that you were dealing with that sent you this correspondence, but they're doing something that is uh, not in your best interest. So watch out for this person. You've got the four of teacups. They're spending a lot of time by yourself. So with the four of teacups is receiving an offer because it's the four of cups, receiving an offer and not really seeing the offer coming your way because you're so busy focused on your work, you don't even see when an offer comes your way. So be aware that there could be an offer that comes in for you. Uh, and it, it's an opportunity for a relationship and you should take it because, you know, uh, 
by ignoring it, you are cutting it off completely. So, you know, try not to be too focused on your work. Um, uh, make sure that you're keeping your eyes and ears open as well and watching your back as well because somebody is doing something that is not quite right uh, going on in the background over there. And you're coming across as the hierophant, somebody that's inspiring others, and maybe this is why you're so focused on your work. You are, uh, you know, you're almost like an inspiration to a lot of people, and you're doing maybe you're, the job you're doing is in, in the form of teaching or giving out information, and you've got a lot of people that are very impressed by you because the hierophant card is ruled by Taurus. So this is you, uh, you know, in your element giving out information, you know, but there are people that are working. Um, to your detriment so be aware that that could be going on in the background and try you know by keeping your eyes on the job you might not be seeing the bigger picture or seeing what is going on around uh, or the deception that is going on around you so be aware that that could be going on but for the most part you know you're receiving a lot you're giving out a lot of information so you could be in some kind of teaching job or you could be uh, you know listening to people that inspire you on a broader sense this is about um you know, divine information that is coming in. So you could be getting, you know, listening to a lot of people that are inspiring you, um, you know, changing your life by listening to people that inspire you and you in turn go ahead and inspire others. But you definitely have a big audience of people. So whoever you're putting out this information to, there's a lot of people listening and taking it on board. And, uh, you know, they hold you in very, very high esteem because you can see this man is raised above. So whatever you're saying is something higher and they're seeing it as something very inspirational. Um, so be aware that there could be things that are going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of, people not working in your uh, best interests. You are very focused on your work, but you might need to take your head out of, of that work and look around you because there's somebody there that's trying to impress you in a work situation and you may not be seeing this person. They might make an offer to you. They might ask you out uh, for, to some social event. They are really trying to impress you. Um, you know, so they are, uh, you know, and they, they're very, very um, uh, educated and, you know, well-learned and they're well-read and well-traveled because the magician card is ruled by Mercury. So, you know, they have, they're probably ticking a lot of boxes that you want from a person and they are trying to be impressed, uh, to impress you. So they are um, obviously very um, taken in with you as well. Now, if you start this relationship, it could end up in a marriage because you've got two marriages, marriage cards over here. On the other hand, you could be attending a wedding as well. But for the most part, I think it's about you uh, achieving happiness. And it could, um, you know, this relationship that starts could end up becoming uh, something long term and committed as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Archangel Power Tarot. So you got the Queen of Raphael, which says, follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. <laughs> so kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. So you are, um, you know, uh, going through the phase of being the Queen of Raphael, and you need to follow your intuition and trust your gut instinct about what you do. And happiness is coming. There's a new phase of the moon over here, so something brand new beginning for you. And you are being guide guided. And whatever this uh, is coming out of this is... Um, um, you know, being orchestrated by Archangel Raphael. So he's a healing angel. So whatever new relationship comes your way is going to be something that's very healing. You've got the two of Gabriel over here. Uh, make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So you are forming relationships with somebody. So there is a new relationship coming in. And this person that you form this relationship with is going to be something that's very connected for you, a very soul connection going on over there because they see uh, your vision. And you've got the sun card over here. So there's, that's a, ca a card of success. Life is wonderful. Thrive on the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So being very successful. So if this relationship comes in, it's going to be a very successful relationship. It's going to bring in a lot of enlightenment spiritually as well as, you know, you're going to be very, very happy as well. Um, so something very good coming in for you. Uh, and it, it might end up, you know, being something long term that ends up in a committed relationship. Uh, and you might meet this person on a work scenario as well. So uh, don't be too focused on the work. Look around you. There might be somebody that's trying to impress you that you didn't even know because they are trying to make some kind of offer and there is a soul connection going on over there. So try not to isolate yourself from people. Go out there, put yourself out there, socialize a bit, uh, you know, 
talk to people and you will find that you know you are attracting the people that you want to attract and you are going to be attracting the relationship that you want to attract so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching and good luck goodbye